Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Film Top. Almost everyone knows Christina Hack, an American TV personality and real estate inventor who caught the public eye with her show Flip or Flop that she started working on with her husband, Tariq El Moussa. But are you aware of the reasons she split up with her husband? Do you know what Christina's net worth is? Who's she dating now? Well, if you don't, you are in the right place because we got all these answers for you and more. But before we get into the details of Christina Hack's private life, make sure you click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever we upload a new exciting video for you. Christina Mersinge Hack was born on July 9th of 1983 in Anaheim, California. Her net worth is $12 million. She has a sister named Carly who is 10 years younger than her. After college, Christina started working in the real estate industry and there she met Tariq El Moussa, who later became her husband and business partner. They both started a real estate agency called the El Moussa Group in Orange County, California. After some time, they expanded their real estate investing business to Arizona and Nevada with their business partner, Pete DeBest. When their real estate business started suffering because of the stock market crash in 2008, Tariq asked one of his friends to make him an audition tape for HGTV. They filmed an episode on the process of house flipping and sent the audition tape to a production company without much hopes, but the production company by the name of Pie Town Productions loved it, and HGTV signed both Christina and Tariq for a regular weekly program, Flip or Flop. That was going to inform the people about the technicalities of flipping a house. Because of the show's success and popularity, Christina was later given her own spinoff show called Christina on Coast. Now, coming to her relationships. As we told you that Christina married her business partner, Tariq El Moussa, in 2009. The couple filed a divorce in 2017 after spending eight years of marriage together. They have two children together. Their first child was their daughter, Taylor, who was born in 2010. In 2013, Tariq was diagnosed with thyroid and testicular cancer. So before the treatment through radiation, they both decided to bang Tariq's sperm to have a second child. Christina suffered a miscarriage, however. Later, she got pregnant again and their son, Brayden, was born in 2015 through in vitro fertilization. But soon after, the couple started experiencing problems in their marriage and they even stopped driving to the set of their show together. In May of 2016, they got separated when police were called to their home when Tariq left the house after an argument and was reportedly suicidal. Tariq claimed that he was not suicidal and he just went on a hike and took the gun with him to protect himself. Their divorce was finalized in January of 2018, but they both still continue to do their show together and according to sources, they both are on very good terms and even joke about how better they are together just as friends. After their separation, El Musa Group was dissolved and the business is now owned by Tariq Soli. Christina started dating English television presenter Ant Anstead in November of 2017, and after almost one year of going out with him, she got married to him in December 22nd of 2018 at their Newport Beach, California home. She also changed her name to Christina Anstead. The couple had a child named Hudson together on September 6th in 2019. But just after one year of their son's birth, the couple announced separation due to unknown circumstances in September of 2020, and Christina filed for divorce in December. After the divorce, Christina changed her name back to Christina Hack and revealed in an Instagram post that the name honors her late grandparents and she hopes that they are smiling from above. Christina says that after the breakup, her only focus now is her kids and she's not looking for any kind of relationship yet. She said that she believes everyone deserves to have love and find love and she hopes that this happens for her someday too, but it would take a really special someone and her goal right now is to just be with her kids. Christina is a regular meditator and she says that meditation, going for a walk and focusing on spirituality, helps her mentally and physically. And without it, she would just hit a wall. And that's not an option for her with the work and kids. She says that she is determined to stay healthy and positive. In an episode of her show, she revealed that she wants to open a wellness center. And she has already co-written the book, The Wellness Remodel, alongside her friend and nutritionist, Kara Clark, which was released in March of 2020. In October of 2020, Christina launched a line with Spectra Home Furniture called Christina at Home that includes high-end looking sofas, tables, and chairs. Christina described her collection as fashionable, current, and comfortable. Christina also supports charities like the Anaheim Ducks Foundation that improves the lives of children and families in Southern California. 
And that's all we have for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it. Did we miss anything out? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.